Hello everybody, my name is Dude, and welcome to You Are Jeff Bezos. If you're wondering why I'm being quiet, it's because my mother's asleep, and she's currently running on fumes and hatred, and I don't want to wake her up and have her kill me on video. So we're going to just play the next five Let's Plays very quiet-like, so I don't end up getting murdered and can't stream or work or do anything, so... This is, a, I guess, the closest thing to a text-based adventure game. We're Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon.com. We have a net worth of $156 billion. We can probably end world hunger. What? When you wake up this morning from unsettling dreams, you find yourself changed into your, in your bed into a monstrous vermin. You are Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos' employees are now your employees. His money is now your money. Nothing you say or do will convince anyone you are not Jeff Bezos, even his closest family and friends. I spend all his fucking money. What do you do? I go to the bathroom. I scream and sob with terror over this unnatural event. I would like to save. First. I spend all his fucking money. Repair Puerto Rico. <laughs> Pay off student loan debt. Fuck, I don't have 1.5 trillion dollars. How about end homelessness? Because I'd like to do that. Eliminate homelessness in the United States. Every person living in the U.S. now has the guaranteed the guarantee of a roof over their head. This costs you twenty billion dollars, or a trivial twelve point eight percent of your starting net worth. You still have one hundred thirty-six billion dollars. I'll soon change that. Uh pay personal taxes. There we go. There, there we go. Here's what, here's where we get into the dicey business of what personal worth is, and how that translates to, relates to taxable income. Answer, it usually doesn't, because rich people are master frauds and charlatans who exploit loopholes in tax code to avoid paying their fair share. Jeff Bezos is worth $156 billion? You're using the top tax bracket of 37% and paying out 57.72 billion of that. You'd pay 99%, but then this would be a very short simulator. Hooray for simple math. Uh, pay for the border wall and not build it? Mm. Hire 100 new teachers for four years each. 100,000 teachers for four years each. Uh, pay back taxes to the EU. I could easily afford Abolish the Electoral College. Support 10,000 artists in residence for four years each. How about... Double every Amazon employee's pay. Double the median Amazon worker's salary from poverty level 28000 a year to $56,000 a year. Much closer to the U.S. average. Your employees are able to lead lives with slightly more dignity. While you're at it, you implement progressive policies, getting rid of timed bathroom breaks, and those hilariously anti-union videos you've been forcing your employees to watch. The cost of this to you is negligible, if not... I'm not even going to model it. Cool, what's next? I'll pay back taxes to the EU. A trivial $293 million. That's enough to host Eurovision eight times. Cool. Abolish the Electoral College. Strictly speaking, the only thing necessary to abolish the Electoral College is the vote and ratification of three-fourths of the Union or 38 states. And politicians are very cheap to purchase. An average Senate seat costs $10 million, but you can win over sitting senators for less than that. The House is a, is a trickier proposition thanks to sheer numbers, but you all all you really need to do to make the whole thing work is convince Republicans that abolishing a slavery-era system and transitioning to a popular vote to major ele for major elections would totally own the libs. Sorry, not sorry, Hamilton. <clears throat> uh, do you hear something? What? A loud crack fills the room as finally you f your frantic family members and several bodyguards manage to break down the door to your bedroom. A few of your burlier relatives pin you down and take away your laptop. Please, Uncle Bezos. 
begs a dog-eyed child who is probably actually not your nibbling, grumbly, ghibli tears falling down their cheeks as you... What? Your nibbling? Well, what, what do you mean? Ne niece? Oh, you left us with a mere sixty-one billion eight hundred and seven million dollars. Mother says we'll ever be... We'll be ever so destitute if you do not cease your wretched spending. Do Jeff Bezos' extended family speak like Dickens characters? They do here. What do you say to the child? Sit them down and patiently explain why being a billionaire is immoral. Show them Twitter. They'll end up just as socialists and it'll take less effort on your end. Sit them down and patiently explain why being a billionaire is immoral. With your arms tied behind your back, you are left gesturing with your head, asking the sniffling, snot-nosed cherub to take a seat on your knee. They do. <clears throat> And while your family and hired strongmen rifle through your belongings, trying to find a way to undo your recent financial transactions, you launch into your best, most heartfelt, age-appropriate lecture on ethics. It is light on theory and heavy on comparisons. But you manage to get across that, in a world of such wealth as ours, for a few, for a select few to hold on to the vast majority of that wealth, whether they earned it or not, while others starve is neglecting our moral duty to one another. The child listens quietly and frowns. Look, you finally say, just watch The Good Place. Well, that sure took a while to reach a pretty basic media recommendation, and unfortunately, in the meantime, you've earned $10,428,660. Maybe it would have been better to leave the children child-rearing to social media. Enough of this. Time to spend more of Jeff Bezos' fucking money. Fix the Flint water crisis? Yes. Fuck yeah, fix that. Like, fuck. They're drinking lead and shit. I'm not even... I'm hoping they're not drinking it, but, like, it's in their tap water. They're bathing in it. That's bad. You completely re renovate the deteriorated water system of Flint, Michigan, freeing its residents from corporate serfdom to Nestle. This, this sets you back all of $55 million, or less than the cost of a single SpaceX rocket. Literally, this could have happened years ago already. Uh, let's see. Finance 100 indie games, reboot Mythbusters, and uh, pay off a thousand graduate students' loans. Let's do that. I'm trying to th think of things that are actually good for, like, the... Not, not necessarily the economy... Trying to think of things that would be good for the environment. Some things that would be good for the economy, mostly for workers. I would totally fund indie developers, but like, I want to fix like certain problems first. This is not not hating on indie devs, but like, there, there's a water crisis. There's crises. There's crises everywhere. Let's solve those first. The average graduate student has $57,600 in loan debt. Your family are anything, your friends are anything but average, of course, but you also probably don't have a thousand of them, so $57.6 million should cover you either way, plus a few hundred strangers. You spend any leftovers organizing a game studies conference, including covering transportation and hotel expenses for all speakers. Todd Harper does the opening keynote, and Maddie Bryce oversees the wine tasting section. No speakers over the age of 45. Uh, 10 animal rescues for four years. That would be positive. Public libraries might be a good one next. Rebooting Mythbusters and financing 100 any games would be nice, but at the same time, like, I'd rather have the libraries and the animal rescues first, or just in general. For five million dollars a year each, these aren't your run-of-the-mill animal shelters. These are full-featured rescues focused on providing for abused former circus animals and exotic pets. You know those videos testing where whether tigers will sit in boxes and get a high off catnip? That's the kind of rescue you're funding. Let the good times roll. Sirens outside. You've learned from the TV that there is a warrant out for your arrest, for suspicion of fraud which under the circumstances seems hilarious. What? Build ten new public libraries. I didn't realize there was more to the world. To the uh, events going on after I've spent the money. 
Cost for a new public library can vary, but $15 million gets you a relatively fancy one. So obviously $150 million gets you 10 fancy ones. Any remainder, any remainder ought to go towards maintaining the libraries, since you built them and all. Books are good. One of the baristas has given you away. It was an accident. They forgot they left location data on while tweeting on the Bezos' Bay hashtag. Before you know it, you have the entire local police force at the cafe's front door. You scan your list for something quick to bend off of Bezos' money on while the barista arranges your escape through the back. There's no time. You and your barista accomplishes accomplices race through the city's back streets, cannily avoiding police blockades and Amazon locker locations. Twice you are nearly cut down by weaponized delivery drones, <laughs> but you manage to dive out of their firing range just in time. The drones record you as KIA in their online tracking system, thus buying you a precious few minutes. Huddled behind a dumpster, you find the barista with the lip ring has sustained a deep cut to their arm. Uh, use the cleanest hundred dollar bills to dress the wound. Only a thousand dollars, really? You literally throw money at the problem and tape together ten printer fresh one hundred dollar bills end to end, using them as a makeshift bandage around the barista's wound. They grimace. It's not a great way to dress a cut, but it's probably better than nothing, and they appreciate the fact you're trying at least. Make a break for the sewers. It's no use. Sewers aren't actually all that suspicious, and also manhole covers are really heavy. The police catch up to you while you are swearing and nursing your stubbed toe. Maybe you should have run on your luxury apart run out of your luxury apartment wearing something sturdier than slippers. You and your three barista allies are arrested on the spot. Oh. What? You and your college aged accomplices are each charged with resisting arrest, the most fascist bullshit charge. Additionally, you were also charged with one of one count of destabilizing capitalism while the three baristas are charged with pirating anime. Uh pay bail for baristas and let a, and everyone else in the city's jail system. I can afford that. That's fine. You pay the cash bail for the three coffee-making accomplices, as well as the entire jail population of the city. About 12,000 people. The police catching wise put you your own bail at a absolutely unheard of 61,100... Oh, that's exactly all. There's no way you, anyone could pay that. Demand to see your lawyer. Wait. Because you are white and wealthy, the law looks works differently for you. You are granted a phone call to your lawyer. Unfortunately, you don't know the number of Jeff Bezos' lawyer or even who they are. You realize that if you're going to do anything with this one phone call, it should be something to try and get rid of as much of your remaining wealth as possible. Hmm. Rebuilding Puerto Rico, give it all to NASA... Create an endowment for artists and residents. Pay for your anime. Fucking keep it. Represent myself. Uh, I could rebuild Puerto Rico. Or help with education. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, dude. Like... I could fucking uh, I, I want to do both, but I only get one phone call, so I can't give half of eat of the money to each. So rebuild Puerto Rico. You donate everything you have left towards rebuilding Puerto Rico. The sum is significant and goes some way towards the island's recovery. It won't fix everything, but it helps. And you can be sure the funds don't go to waste. After finishing your phone call, you remain quietly to your cell. Return quietly to your cell. If Bezos' bay is still trending on Twitter, you're, sur you're sure someone is raising money for your legal fees right now, but you absolutely refuse to use it. There is nothing more you can do for now. Wait. You wait. There is little else to do. You sit and contemplate your admittedly brief existence as Jeff Bezos. The unimaginable wealth you struggled to spend, the problems that lay outside even your ability to fix, was it really worth anything at all to rid the world of one man's billions? Was it really the best you could do? With this thought in your head, you lie down your, on your hard jail bunk and slowly you drift off to sleep. Oh. 
Then you wake up this morning from unsettling dreams. You find yourself changed into your bed with into a monstrous vermin. You are Elon Musk. Oh shit. I get to spend his money now, don't I? I got the true end. Nice. That was fun. Written by Chris Ligman in Twine 2. Special thanks to Dan Cox and the Twine Cookbook. This game draws a like, design inspiration from Zoe Quinn's Depression Quest and Squinky's Queuing Quest? Quing? Queuing Quest 7? Zorga Fiction is. Uh, is not to be treated as a serious resource for money numbers or financial advice if you are indeed Jeff Bezos. Though if you are indeed Jeff Bezos, maybe double your employee's salary and do all the things I did. Just saying, like, pay? End homelessness in the States, please. Maybe over the world if you can, but I don't think that's possible. Works referenced, not mobile friendly. What? Alright, I guess we can uh, include all of that. So that was, uh, you are Jeff Bezos. You just saying, maybe he could actually do some good with that money, but I guess net worth doesn't really mean you have that much money? But yeah, you probably, he probably does have an exorbitant amount of money. It's just his net worth isn't actually what he currently has. It's probably even less than that, but he could still do a lot of good with the millions and probably a couple billions that he has. So why doesn't he? Just saying, you, you could do a lot with that. We, we could do a lot of good. We could, we could end homelessness. Fucking do that. We could work to get income boosted and then not have to worry about. But anyway, that's a political thing, for never. But it, this whole thing was political, so I guess it's fine. I can talk politics. I guess. But I'm not going to anymore. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you to Shrill and Love you for supporting me on Patreon. And I forget who is currently a subscriber on Twitch. But thank you to these fine people for supporting me on Twitch. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.